scary situation for students and staff at Mount Carmel High School this morning. Yeah, the campus was put on lockdown as police responded to reports of a teenager threatening to hurt himself and other students in the theater. News 8's Amanda Shotsky joins us live from Rancho Penasquitos now with the latest on this. Amanda. I can tell you that lockdown has now been lifted. Students have actually returned to class already, but this was a very scary situation. And police say that when they were first called, it was for a student who was acting suicidal. But they say when they got here, they realized that there could potentially be a danger to other students. Once we arrived, we learned that he had gone into a classroom uh, armed with a large screwdriver and he had threatened the students in that classroom. And as they started to flee, he started chasing the students. And that's when one of the teachers intervened to stop him and the staff was able to isolate him in a section of the theater. And this is cell phone video of that Mount Carmel High School student, a 17-year-old, being taken into police custody. This after he threatened his peers with a screwdriver that police say he brought from home. It started just after first period at 7.30 this morning inside the campus theater. Students started texting each other and their parents about what was going on. The incident prompted police to place the school on lockdown, meaning students were forced to stay inside their classrooms while officers surrounded the campus and conducted their investigation. Of course, this was very concerning to parents who showed up at school to see if their kids were okay. You never want to hear that, you know, kids are on lockdown and, uh, you know, luckily with the kids, they have their phones, they can text. But uh, my youngest, I haven't heard from her, but I'm pretty confident she's okay. Whether it's my kid or their friends, I mean, it's still, it's not what, our kids shouldn't be experiencing this in our schools. And the school kept parents updated in several text message alerts. The first one going out at 8 o'clock this morning, the next an hour later telling parents that their students were headed back to class. Now, police did commend the teacher that was able to stop the students who the student who was being a threat. They say that teacher actually suffered minor injuries to his hand in the process. That student has not been identified only that he's 17 because he is a minor. We do know that his parents have been notified. Now he is facing some serious charges, including criminal threats and brandishing a weapon.